Hey guys, what's going on? Jack Scalfani here from the Cuckoo and Jack Show, and I got a really big box. That's right, you want to know what's in this box? Well, let me tell you a story. So, I'm reading an article about of non-stick pans being toxic in your food, and chipping and getting in your food, and just all around not good. The two pans they recommend most are the like, like all clad or multi clad, which is like stainless steel, and then there is uh, cast iron. Well, cast iron's too heavy. I don't want to go all cast iron. So I looked up multi clad to find out. Now, all clad only does five layers of stainless steel and, and disperses the heat, and it's perfectly safe for your food. So I found a company here locally that's right down the freeway in Clarksville, and they do seven layers of multi clad. So I called them up and I said, I want to bring your cookware onto the show and get rid of all my nonstick cookware and start using the stainless steel. They said, all right, well, are, are you interested in our cutlery too? And I said, you got cutlery? So we're going to show you everything today. We're going to do a simple recipe of some chicken and cream of mushroom. We're going to pop it in the oven. We're going to make sure this is oven safe and show you all the parts that I'm switching to. All right, and that's to get away from the non-stick poisons that cook into your food. All right, you ready? Come on in close. I don't know if this cookware is called Hammer Stall or Heritage Steel. So I'm saying both names during this episode because it's uh, on their website, there's uh, Heritage Steel cookware and then there's Hammer Stall knives which I'll be showing you those in a minute. This is probably the best cookware set. I mean, look at this. That's a 12 inch frying pan. I have never had a 12 inch frying pan in any set that was sent to the show. And uh, I believe that's a 10 inch. Let me see. 10 and a half inch right there. Not a 10 inch, not like Pioneer Woman, a nine inch, where we're talking bigger than normal, 10 and a half, 12 inch, never heard of. I'm gonna be using this today in a recipe. And the stock pot, look at these lids. They're beautiful. This set is gorgeous. So the first thing I gotta do is wash all these uh, with a little bit of vinegar in hot water to get the manufacturing oil off them. And then I can go ahead and use them. So, so this is the set, it's an eight piece set. Beautiful, go to their website, read all about it. A lot of science behind this. This is seven layers of stainless steel. It's beautiful. Uh, we're gonna be touring their factory any day now. I'm waiting for an appointment. Then we're gonna go take the camera and do a Jack on the Go episode at the uh, Heritage Steel factory, okay? I wanna thank them for, uh, for sending this on over and I'm gonna be using this set from now on for the rest of the year. I may keep it permanently. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful. So, uh, so there you go, and this, this lid probably fits on the 10, yep, there it is. Fits on the 10 inch, fits on the skillet. This is basically all you need in cookware, right here. You got your stock pot if you're making pasta sauce, you got your saucepan if you're doing other sauces, you got your skillet, if you're baking, you, and they're all oven safe, as long as they got the metal handle. There may be some without metal handles that you can't put in the oven, but this one you can't, because I just got off the phone with them. And, uh, and the skillets are huge, and they come up further than normal, almost like a wok-style skillet. So, um, so I'm really excited. This 12-inch is just massive, unbelievable. So there you go. If you got any, any tips, write me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and let me know how to take care of this type of cookware, what you do to take care of your cookware and keep it looking beautiful. All right? Let me show you the knives now. Okay, I gotta tell you, the best thing I like about this heritage steel, hammer stall, cutlery, and cookware is that it's made in America, and a lot of you think that's very important. It's made right down the freeway in Clarksville, Tennessee. I can't wait to go there and watch them, how they prepare everything. They sent me the starter knife kit, and it's got the chef knife, the bread knife. I've never seen a Santoku so small but it's like a baby version of a Santoku. And then the paring knife. 
really this is all you need in the kitchen. You only need four knives. You need a chef knife, you need a bread knife, a paring knife, and an all-purpose knife, which this is be used as an all-purpose knife, okay? That's basically what you need in the kitchen. Don't get all wrapped up in these 20-piece sets. Most of those knives you'll never use. Okay, we just washed this in hot water and vinegar to get any of the oils from the manufacturing off the cookware. Uh, always read your recommended treatment of your cookware to take care of it the best. Some's dish, this is dishwasher safe, but I don't put any pots or pans in my dishwasher. But follow the directions because like cast iron, you gotta oil it and cook it and season it, all that stuff. So make sure you read the, uh, the pamphlet on how to take care of your cookware to its best. Now I got the pans all wet, but it's going in the oven, so. And I'm putting wet chicken in here, which is like just defrosted. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna season it. It's gonna be awesome. As you can see, it's still partially frozen. Just means we're gonna be in the oven a little bit longer than we thought. Okay, so we have this chicken. I don't know if you guys have ever cooked frozen chicken. It cooks just as good whether it's frozen or it's defrosted. Uh, I used to barbecue out in the Orange County Marketplace. Frozen chicken, frozen bacon, anything. It cooks pretty good. So we're going to put a little bit of salt on it. A little bit of pepper. I'm just going to shake it out. We do a little bit of a little bit of garlic. Well, a lot of garlic. Because everything deserves garlic. You should never make a dish that doesn't include garlic unless it's a dessert. And for a little bit of heat, a little chipotle. A little chipotle pepper. There we go. Just your basic chili powder. Chipotle chili powder. There you go, just came out of the oven. Piping hot, looks spicy, looks creamy, looks beautiful. All the chicken is at temperature. Cooked it on convection so it would cook faster. All right, you guys ready to try this? While it's still cooling, let me tell you about membership on my channel. If you become a member of my channel, you get live chats with me every Saturday. And we sit and we just talk about whatever's going on. And you also get to see Burger Wars Tour videos before everybody else. You don't have to wait till Saturday. You get it like on Tuesday or Monday or Wednesday, whenever I get around to showing it to you. Uh, you get to watch videos early. There'll be some behind the scenes stuff that you'll get to see as a member of the channel. So uh, think about becoming a member, all right? You guys ready? Here we go. Mmm. Got a little bit of heat, mushroom flavor, creamy, delicious. So quick and easy, you saw what I did, you saw the new cookware, that's gonna be on the show for the rest of the year and we will see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Love you.